This week, we're talking about four ways to live in Vero Beach, Florida on the water. Are you someone who's looking at living in Vero Beach, Florida, maybe checking out the local real estate here and wondering what are some of your options if you want to live on or near the water um, in this area? Well, that's exactly what we're talking about today. I wanna give you the lowdown on the four different ways that you can be on or near water if you're living down here in this beautiful tropical area of Vera Beach, Florida. I'm Rachel Carroll. I'm the face of the Carroll Home Team here on YouTube. And each week I bring to you great information about our area here in the Treasure Coast and surrounding areas, specifically Vero Beach where I live and the area that I love. So stay tuned because I've got some good information for you. All right, let's jump into it. So the first way that you can live on the water in Vera Beach, Florida is if you buy a home or property on a lake. All right, so I'm from the north, I'm from North Carolina originally. Our lakes look a little different than a Florida lake, but essentially what it is, it's a large pond or a body of water, you know, that's bigger than essentially a creek. So it's going to be what I would consider like a large pond, but that is what's considered a lake here in Vero Beach. If you buy a house that's lakefront, you're gonna have a water view. The thing I want you to know about lakes here in Florida is that they're not navigable, all right? So they're not like a big lake up north or in the northeast where um, you've got you know, your boats or your pontoon boats and you can go out on the lake. It's completely different down here in Florida. A lake is essentially a retention pond, all right? It's a collection of water. It's typically surrounded by a bunch of homes in a community. It's not navigable. I also wouldn't recommend going in them. You've got lots of things down in, here in Florida that like to snap and bite, but it is really beautiful. If you are looking for a waterfront experience, there's really not a whole lot like making your morning coffee, coming out and sitting on your lanai and looking over the lake. It's, it's a really nice experience. So that's the first way that you can live waterfront in Vero Beach. The second way that you can live waterfront is on the mainland, Vero Beach's mainland. It's on the main body of Florida on the river. Our river here is called the Indian River Lagoon, right? It is an intercoastal waterway. It is navigable by boat. Lots of people love to sail. Um, they love to kayak. They love to paddle board. So you can definitely get out on this river and you can navigate a boat on this river. So big, wide, deep river. You do have two points, one north of Vero Beach and one south of Vero Beach, the inlets where you can get out into the ocean. But let's talk about again, specifically mainland on the river in Vero Beach if you want to live on the water in that way. Some of the popular communities um, that are specifically in Vero Beach on the river include Vero Shores, um, Vero Isles, AKA the Fingers, what the locals call it. Um, you can also get on the river from Oak Harbor, which is a gated community, Grand Harbor, um, and some little pockets in East Winter Beach. One thing I always caution people who are looking for riverfront property, specifically pay attention to, is whether or not um, the, your waterfront property is on a navigable waterway, right? So navigable, navigable excuse me, means you can navigate a boat or a motorcraft um, on it. Whether or not it's navigable obviously is going to matter to people who do have a boat and are planning on having their boat uh, accessible from their home. It is also gonna greatly change the value of your property. So property that's on a navigable waterway is going to be worth a significant amount more than property that is not on a navigable waterway, like a canal or a lake slash pond or something of that matter. All right, moving right along, the third option for living waterfront is going to be on the island, on Vero Beach's barrier island on the river, on the river side we call it. So there's many, many options ranging from gated communities to non-HOA neighborhoods, um, all 
up and down the waterway there. So again, it would be the Indian River Lagoon is what you would hug on the river side. It is the intercoastal waterway of Vero Beach. Uh, you wanna, again, pay attention. Is it navigable or is it non-navigable? And your, the price of homes to be on the barrier island on the river are gonna vary greatly from being on the mainland on the river. It's very desirable to have um, an island location home, just in case you're not familiar with Florida real estate or Vero Beach area in general. I think that might be helpful if you're looking for water access and you're trying to consider what are the best options or what are the most cost effective options for you. And when you're looking at um, either island or mainland property on the river, you wanna make sure you're paying extra attention to the quality of the construction and the maintenance of the seawall. So the wall or the barrier that they have where the land meets the water, it's gonna be really important to the integrity of your home, the foundation of your home, um, how your land is going to weather, the changes in the tides, all of those things you need to really take into serious consideration and be, make sure you're speaking with a professional about it if you're considering waterfront a property in Vero Beach. And last but not least, our fourth option for living waterfront in Vero Beach, Florida is going to be the El Primo, living on the beach. So living right there on the Atlantic Ocean if you have a home that is beachfront or oceanfront. These homes definitely cost a pretty penny, but the beauty, the quality of life, the experience is unmatched. It's so lovely here. Our beaches are pristine. They're quaint, they're quiet, they are uncrowded. If you are lucky enough to snag yourself a beachfront home in Vero Beach, you really have hit the lottery in life, I think. it's. Again, the creme de la creme of real estate, in my opinion. But that is always an option for you. Um, again, you're going to be on a barrier island. Vero Beach does have a barrier, a mainland side and a barrier island side. So your beachfront property would be located on the barrier island. Um, and that really runs all the way up from Wabasso a little north of Wabasso Beach in the like summer place area, all the way down until you hit Fort Pierce um, at past the estate section of uh, Vero Beach, Vero Beach's island, excuse me. Um, and lots of great options. I've got lots of other videos on this channel about Vero Beach's island real estate, either on the riverside or the beach side and some of the great communities that I love on Vero Beach's barrier island. So I hope that's helpful for you if you're somebody who's considering waterfront options. Always, always, you can call, you can reach out to me. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comments below if you feel comfortable doing that. I am happy to be a resource for you here, just in the general Vero Beach ecosystem of like, where are some great places to eat? What are some great things to do? What are some pros and cons of Vero Beach? If you're considering Vero Beach compared to somewhere else in Florida, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are really happy to help however the cards lie on that. So um, you can find all of our contact information in the description below. Don't be a stranger and we will see you next week. Bye.